a great yes. Wait a second. And lastly, grade 10. I'm really excited. Yay! I'm graduating for the first time in six because I was promoted to grade five. So I'm looking forward to that. So honestly, I have nothing to say about it yet. Things I will never ever forget. Oh, I don't think I have anything else. So if I sat in front of the table and in 10 minutes, it would be four or five days. So you know, I want to send a little message. I want to thank the teacher. Hello everyone, I am Marpine and today I'm going to tell you about my experiences here in Samis. I had so many remarkable days here in Samis and actually I've been here only for four years but I have more memories than average submission does and I'm so proud to be a submission. Uh, for my first day was on March 5, 2011 and I was demoted to grade 5 because of some reasons. And I didn't know English at all, I couldn't communicate with anyone and I knew no one so it was extremely hard. The first year was really hard for me. So grade 5 passed in a blur, actually I don't remember a lot of things from grade 5 because I tried to fit in, I tried to get friends, I tried to learn English and I tried to figure out like what is going on around me because obviously I was so clueless. There were so many new things, people from different nationalities, people of different religions, beliefs, different ideas and it was just so crazy. Uh, so, I can't tell you a lot of things about grade 5 because simply there were no really remarkable ones. So, let's move on to grade 10. To say that I remember grade 7 well would definitely be a lie. I am a type of a person who forgets literally everything. Like, I don't even remember what I wore last week. I know, that's bad. I have a short memory span, but what can I do? I can't help it. So hopefully this video will help me remember all these memories after a couple of years. So grade 7 was um, kind of a difficult year as well because I was promoted to grade 7 and I started to study with my real classmates and I was so shy from them. My first friend was Yasmin and she helped me so much and I don't imagine what I was going to do without her. She left school two years ago but until now we keep connection, we have our connection and we talk and I really miss those days with her. In grade 7, uh, the biggest thing I did was join in the storytelling contest in ESM week. It was like, oh my god, a new student, a shy girl, a girl who is so scared to talk in front of audience, just went out to tell a story. And I messed up. I stood in front of people and I forgot what I was gonna read. I forgot how to read at all. I was that nervous. I was shaking my paper. I couldn't stare at it because the paper was moving so badly. It was so crazy and but later on it taught me how to be confident in front of people, how to say what I want I wanna say without being scared. Because there's no point of being scared. It's Everyone has gone through these type of things and everyone understands that the first time was Moving difficult. Moving on to sports fest, uh, I won in standing long jump and it was my first victory in Samis and it was the sweetest memory ever because when you do something for the first time, like when you win for the first time, it's the best because it's the first. I can't explain it. It was just the best. So moving on to grade 8. And I want to tell you that grade 8 was literally the best year of my whole existence. Grade 8 was filled with fun, with joy. I learned a lot of new things in grade 8. And a lot of new experiences and a lot of new things I never imagined I would do. So first thing in grade 8 was in Foundation Week. I was in the Egyptian group and we danced Egyptian dance. And I want to tell you people that me and dancing are two different things and in dictionary Arpine and dancing should be considered as antonyms because I never dance, I mean in my room I dance but then I don't dance well, I am so stiff. But we danced Egyptian dance which was really crazy and really fun and I still have the video which is just Moving on to ESM week, in ESM week I joined in declamation contest and 
I won and it was just so crazy I worked so hard but I never imagined I could win and I remember I was shaking so badly and when they told me I won it was like I couldn't believe it it was crazy I was jumping from happiness in ESO week we also had jingle so what's jingle jingle is a it's a class contest actually and uh, we have to write a song about school and perform it it was amazing Trisha wrote a beautiful song actually they were two songs and we sang it and it was so fun the practice especially it was amazing next moving on to Arabic week we had an Arabic um, yeah we had an Arabic wedding <laughs> Arabic wedding was so fun because I have never been in an Arabic wedding and we even our bride had a bright dress a white dress and it was wonderful it was a great experience also moving on to scouting and sports fest uh, scouting was amazing I was a troop leader and being a troop leader was so stressing and so fun at the same time and you know I have so many good memories from scouting and I won a best troop leader award uh, together with two of my classmates and it was just amazing and I love the bonfire in every scouting. It's the most exciting part where everyone is so happy and we are all friends and we are all united together. In Sports Fest, I joined in chess and though I was extremely nervous, I won in chess. And yeah, it was great because you know it's always nice to see what you are capable of doing. Uh, and um, what else was in my day? I am in grade 8. We had dissectional frog, which was at first it sounded so disgusting, but then when we started it was actually really fun. And me and my teammate, me and my friend, we named the frog our frog, we named it Froggy. I know it's not so original, but we were not creative back then. And uh, I think I still have pictures, but I'm not gonna post any pictures here because I'm not gonna add any pictures because it's simply so disgusting. But actually it was a great experience because I'll never experience dissection in my life and the fact that Samis gave me that experience is just mind-blowing and it's great and it's amazing. Next is grade 9. Grade 9 was amazing on the side of values. I learned a lot of things. Uh, I learned what a meaning of friendship was. I learned how to value the people I love and it was just all thanks to my wonderful friends and I'm so happy to have them. Uh, first thing in grade 9, I think, was the foundation week. Yes, on foundation week, we had to dance the European dance. And as I said previously, I don't dance, so it was so hard. Um, though the girls tried to make the steps as easy as they could just because of me, it was still hard. But it was so fun when I look back at the videos, I'm laughing so hard because, wow. I, I can't remember myself dancing like that. In Foundation Week also, me and Shaima joined in the slogan making contest and we won, which is another pleasant surprise because I personally don't draw, I can't draw at all. But Shaima is a great artist and I just helped her, so I'm so proud of me and her. Moving on to ESM Week. ESM Week was fun because, well, as guilty as I am to say this, we didn't practice so as much as hard as we had fun. I mean, we didn't win, but we had fun, which I think is more important. We have these videos of us dancing in the classroom like drunk people. By us, I mean me. Everyone was taking a video like I was a clown, but it, it's so funny. I just watched the video two days ago and I was laughing so hard because I don't know what was that me in the video because I don't remember me laughing that much and dancing like that like ever so it was really fun in sports fest and scouting I won gold medal in both um, 100 meters dash and chess uh, I was happy for two reasons of course Anyone who wins is happy, but also because I love pushing myself to my limits and know what I can do. And competitions like this, contests like this, just make me see that 
you know, I can do something, I can be something, I can reach my dreams and my goals. So yeah, that was amazing. Uh, yeah, and grade nine was also a sad year because in the end, three of my friends left in grade nine. And I really missed them so badly because they were my best friends. And finally, here is grade 10 this year. The year started just two months ago, so I don't really have so many remarkable memories and I'm looking forward for this foundation week. But before I close this video, before I end it, I wanna say something to the school. So, dear teachers, dear everyone, Thank you so much for making my life the way it is because I'm sure if I didn't come to Summit, I wouldn't turn out to be the way I am. And though, of course, I have so many bad sides. We all do, don't we? But the school made me learn a few really important things. First thing is uh, confidence. We only get one shot, so we'd better do it well. And when you have a chance to present yourself in front of other people, you better forget about this thing called being shy, because this shyness will never help you in your life. So I thank the school for this. I thank the school for giving me friends, for giving me people I, sh I can rely on, for giving me memories, for giving me endless happiness and joy, for teaching me so many things academically and non-academically that I don't think even if I wish, I can ever forget them. I want to thank this school for accepting me and for being a huge part of my life. And it's actually really sad. This video makes me really sad because this is my last year here in Sammy's. And when I look back to everything I have done, I'm like, oh my God. Four years, almost to be five, were just crazy. They were different. They changed me, but they changed me in a really amazing way. So I thank you. And yeah, I think that was all. I don't know if this video is gonna interest anyone, but these things I said are so important to me. So yeah. So you better like it, okay? Yeah, so that was all. Thank you so much for watching this video and